Discipline is a real sticking point in this house, so I wanted to teach all the adults how to do my timeout technique properly. You're going to do one minute, per year their age. You're going to walk away. If they get up, you'll place them back without any communication. You'll set the timer again. And when they've done their time, you'll come back and you'll explain for a second time. And they'll apologise sincerely. I sent grandma and grandpa away for a couple of hours because I know this much. Mum needs to get a handle on disciplining her own boys. Wait. I'm going I already gave you a warning. I'm going stop it. I put you in timeout. Plus blah, blah, blah. Because you're using bad words. You're calling names, that's not OK. Mum was working really hard, considering she'd never done this before, but I wasn't too sure how long she was going to hold out for. This is what you're going to say to him, all right? Tonight, you're going straight up to bed because you were encouraging your brother to name call when you know it was wrong. Now, you can go straight up to your room and put your pajamas on, and now you have to go to bed because you were instigating your brother to call names when you knew it was not allowed. <laughs> he went mad. <laughs> go in here and change. <laughs> Jordan poured water on the floor, and that was the breaking point for Mum. <laughs> That was it. All bets off and she lost her call. You are not allowed out of your room. You are not going to spill water. You stay in your room. I am done. I just pulled her to the side. I mean, let's face it, she's getting a taste of what grandma has to deal with every day. You cry, you let it out. Let it out, because you're going to need that strength. Oh, you're there. You're there. Because it's good to you at breaking point. But you know what we're doing right now? We're coming in here because we're just calming down and we're doing the mature thing. And the mature thing is, is to walk away when you see him fired up and angry. Because this child needs to be with someone who can give him authority and that someone is his mother. Fortunately, after this whole drama of discipline and mum being totally exhausted, Jordan had fallen asleep. Well done. Now that Kristen knows how difficult it is to discipline her boys, I hope she's going to give Grandma a break and step up. I really feel that Kristen lacks gratitude. Can you guys pick up the crayons on the floor, please? I don't think about it. She has parents who provide a roof over her head, and I don't think that this is recognised at all. And what I would like to do is to show her a place where there are people that just don't have that same kind of support. A homeless shelter. I'm Candice. Nice Kristen. to meet you. Joe. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Our program here actually supports families with children who are homeless. So they're struggling through all kinds of challenges that can create that homeless situation. So our main goal here is to get them back on their feet. I didn't really know why Joe wanted me to sit there and listen to what this lady had to say. I didn't know what the point was. Let's take a look around. What's that? Sure. <laughs> what, you're, you're not feeling it? I don't care. Really? I mean, we can. It doesn't matter. You, you don't really care to look around and see about what this whole company does for other people? The program? Sure. Well, what's the attitude for? No attitude.
It truly is an amazing program. It gives these families an opportunity for a life that they weren't going to have before. Kristen is texting on her phone. It just appalled me. I was disgusted and highly embarrassed of her behaviour. And so I wanted us to walk around the whole of that homeless shelter so that perhaps what she was seeing may sink in. We don't want the children and the families to feel like they're just a number in a program. We want them to feel part of a community. This is an old hotel. That's what these families live in every day. That's the shape and size. It's one room with a restroom and a bath. Well, I know that, that people don't have as much as me, but I didn't think it was necessary for me to have to go to the homeless shelter. We've got mum taking a very slow walk around this property to realize that she's in a much better position than a lot of these families around here. And right now, her pride is choking her. The attitude is not appreciated at all. You can decide what you're going to take out of the freezer and what you're going to cook your family that night. Our families, when they arrive, it's what is being prepared and what is being served. If you don't have the ability to prepare and cook your own meal, you really do take that for granted. I really had had enough of Kristen's behavior. Her whole attitude was disgusting. And when I said goodbye to Candice, I knew I was going to have some firm words to say. The whole point of this exercise was really just to come here and for you to understand that even though you don't walk in somebody else's shoes, that you would at least be able to see how other people live. I am grateful for what I have. You don't act like it. You don't act like it at all. I think you're spoiled. I think you've had it too good and I don't even think you know what gratitude is. It annoyed me that she called me a spoiled brat. Let me tell you something. They are richer than what you are inside. No, it's not. I'm hoping, Kristen, I'm hoping that our experience together is going to allow you to mature. Do you think you've got that in you? I'm sure. It's yet to be seen. I'll see you at home. I mean, let's face it, Kristen's short when it comes to gratitude, but I'm not going to give up on pushing her. So after we got back from the homeless shelter, I wanted to teach Kristen a new technique. I'm giving you this to make you really mindful of all the things that we spoke about today. The calendar is a small little gesture for Kristen to show her mother all the things that she's grateful for. So every day, if you go think of one, every day just one. Yeah, why not? I'm trying to do it and sticking with what Joe has taught us, yeah. There's been a lot of resentment built up in this family, and I know that it's not going to disappear overnight, but Kristen's note to Grandma was a glimmer of hope, and I knew that she needed to read it. Pat, there's a wonderful note on there that she's wrote, which I thought you'd really appreciate reading. My mom says what I am thankful for on Saturday. My mom being strong today. Yeah. <laughs> and sticking with what Joe has taught us. It made me cry. It still makes me cry. Just to hear that Kristen is uh, aware and is thankful. She hasn't been in the past. Thanks. I don't tell her that I'm thankful or grateful nearly enough. You know, it made her feel good that I was proud of her.